So let's take a look into our vulnerable endpoints, okay? Here we see an API login endpoint. So this is going to be a post request, as we can tell from the app route here. From that post request body, we take the username, we take the password, and here is where the vulnerability actually lies. There is some direct string concatenation that is being used in the query. So the query of select all from users where username equals whatever username was passed and password hash equals whatever password that was hashed is a bad thing to do because if something malicious were to be typed in as the username or the password, it would be directly plugged in to this statement structure. And you'll see that in all of the different API endpoints. Here again, selecting a user by username, there is some direct string concatenation. So anything that's being passed in as the username from the get request parameter would be placed directly inside of the statement of select all from users where username equals whatever was passed in.